that looks more sensible. Okay. And dead. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Easy body disposal. <laughs> yeah, I'm guessing at that point you have to jump in the water. It's like today in the Venetian News. A young man jumps to his death in an attempt to do a popular internet loop known as the Leap of Faith. He jumped to his death from a tall ass tower onto some steps and his body was naturally disposed of in the water below. I like that guy's like, shut up. What love? 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 Dude, what the fuck are you doing? Come now, we only want to have a little chat with your amigo. Fantastic. Can see, oh no, those are extremely fun. <laughs> Dude, I didn't even do anything. I just jumped out. You called me a murderer. They like stare at me and shit. What? Just because I have all this armor and blades? On. <laughs> just because I have all this armor on and blades on my <laughs> arms and teeth? Oh, it's probably because I'm armed to the teeth. Or so he thinks. That little scuffle with Dante took a lot out of me. I'm not going to lie. Welcome to the military district. <laughs> oh, I think I know what's coming up next. That is going to be a giant pain in the ass to get through. <laughs> That's not what you were trying to do. <laughs> try, to up, like, try to run on top of the gate. I suppose I 
Big ass wall. Puzzles, puzzles everywhere. And not a stop to spare. Cliffhanger. Brought to you by Abstergo Entertainment. Hey, don't lose him! Damn it! Get... Mistake number one, announcing yourself. Mistake number two, trying to challenge me. Mistake number three, not calling him back up. Now you're dead.
Okay, one would think finding these cliffs would be really easy since they make a noise. But apparently it's not. Thinking about continuing the discussion I made last night about something about, you know, changes to the channel and whatnot. And then, you know, since I'm a young channel, I can basically do anything that I want to do because I'm not constrained by uh, a large audience yet. And I don't have that many demands on me, but, you know, I found a little so I'm going to take care of this first. And in the fairness of time, I did kind of cut this down a little bit because this initial puzzle was kind of a pain in the ass. So I just jumped to the final bit. you go, the more insane 16's messages get. And that's a metaphor for his mind exploding. <laughs> He's become one with the animus. So that makes him even more powerful than, uh... Oh my god, what's this guy's name? Desmond. There we go, Desmond. <laughs> It's kind of weird I have to search for his name in my files, man. That's just it's kind of weird. But I do have a long way to go to catch this series up. It is not even funny. Get a lot of PS3 stuff, then you gotta cross over to PS4 stuff, and then you gotta deal with the issues in Unity and whether or not Ubisoft has fixed them or not. So, well, I guess it comes with the territory. So many games and not enough time to play them all. Or not the way people want me to play them, which is like, uh, apparently, if it's a stealth game, just play it stealthily. If it's an action game, go balls to the walls. Or, you know, do this and that and everything else. I should be like a filmmaker. It's like... It's so like, what I make is art to me. Other people can view it as the same thing. Some may view it as different. If you come from different backgrounds. Like, say, if you come from a Minecraft background, you may not appreciate this. Or vice versa, if you come from this and you try to go to Minecraft, it's like, you just don't get it because it's like, oh, it's seriously pixelated. So that kind of links up to what I was like mentioning earlier about like, you know, the channel changing a little bit. So like, since I'm really young, well, since the channel's still young, it doesn't really have to follow any set of rules yet. So it can basically change into whatever it wants to. So it can basically change into whatever it wants to just to kind of satisfy its creator, which is me. I still enjoy feedback if I ever get it, people don't really leave anything, <laughs> they don't really like to leave comments, so it's kind of hard to gauge what people like, what they don't like, or 
what type of commentary style they want or don't want and you know this is like it's a headache so basically I'm just being me if you like it you like it if you don't you don't it's like I don't know I'm not that family friendly so it's like I've already accepted that I've come to terms with it so I am who I am can't change that and if you do change it it's kind of means you're kind of a you're kind of selling out your own channel just to kind of appease a broader audience. It's like Tarantino making a PG rated movie instead of it's like, you know, traditional R rated stuff. Like hard R stuff. I think that's what Scorsese did with uh, Hugo. It's like his only PG rated movie of a long string of R-rated films. So if one were to attack my channel, most of the earlier videos would be the most hit because you know I was still starting out back then, I didn't know what to do. I was kind of fumbling in the dark and So what why are you following me, bruh? Oh you oh let him go, man. Let him go. You don't know how fuck his ass up. <laughs> See, I'm, having, I'm trying to have a dramatic conversation with myself and these other guys. I think these guys are just kind of come out of nowhere saying this and they're trying to insult me. They talk so big and bad because you're all broken and shit. I can still take your ass down though. Best wish this out too.
Yeah, people weren't lying. Da Vinci is good. Let's do this. Yeah. It's all right. Da Vinci does have a particular style. Like his pictures look like even like Richard and the other pa painters. That one, no. <laughs> That's just something to fill up the room. Ooh, the art room. His best work. Small, get simple. Probably just when starting out.
I've heard that name before, Vespucci. Can't remember where though. Of course, E V E. <laughs> Almost complete. Almost complete. Just one more piece. Then I can go to that secret location. So I'm guessing this is like the exposition episode. It's like a giant information dump. Get the shelf part of my house. You guys get to read all these messages. <laughs> the Altair and his apple. <laughs> it slowly drove him insane. Yeah, hopefully you guys are speed readers. Then again, that's why the pause button was invented. So you just slow it down.
two blades instead of one. A great achievement. And one I still use today. I think Assassin still use two blades. Not really sure anymore. Yeah, we're just cycling through this real fast. It's like Altair's private journal. It's like at first he was telling me crucial information and now he's just rambling. <laughs> I'm guessing a program was feeling neglected so it just popped up for no reason. So I had to dismiss it. once in a while to update itself so you know no worries there 